Check, check. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right, thank you. So um, I will be presenting the, the update of the team Renatus uh, shortly here. Um, I hope it works. Yeah, first of all, the team. I have to say I've been working with a fantastic team and I really enjoy working with everyone in the team. And some of them you, you might rec recognize them by, by, by face, like for example, Christian. Uh, who just gave the keynote uh, speak, and uh, Yannicka from Hive, uh, myself. I think the other people are, are not uh, here, but uh, they also make a great contribution to the to the activities. Our uh, okay, I'm just going to use this one. Sure. Yeah. So um, our main uh, objective for the data center is uh, we want to test a few hypotheses. Basically, um, these three about molecular mark markers. We want to sh test if there are share markers across different studies in PD and if there's share markers between PD and AD, and if there's uh, share markers between tissues. And the other categories, like we, we, we are looking at the any data to to, to try to find a way to stratify the patient without using any molecular markers. And more importantly, besides all this hypothesis, we want to test if we can use solidly or as much as possible transfers as a tool to answer these questions. Because the, the reason I'm saying this is because um, there are different ways of using transmart. I mean, the, the Blueman team have a, gave us a very good example how you can use transmart as, as a data share point and, and continue with, uh, with more advanced uh, tools to, to, to test uh, hypothesis and bring up new knowledge. But uh, for, for many of the uh, people who are interested in, in Transmart, I think they are not necessarily a good programmer or mathematician. They probably want to use Transmart as a research tool. So in, in, in this goal, we want to demonstrate that, or at least prove that Transmart can help you even you don't need to do so much scripting. And so, so, so we design the, 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 the whole data and pipeline in our team to use Transmart as much as possible. For example, for the biomarker hunting parts, we actually use the the, the the Transmart to do all the marker selection for all the studies. And of course, due to time reason, we have to ask Christian to write some ad hoc script to, to accelerate the, the overlap checking. But this is this is not necessary even if you, you have to, enough time to do so. And of course, we, we also use uh, our PD map to visualize the, the, the mar markers um, afterwards. For the uh, patient stratification, we also um, use Transmart to explore the data set and select the, the features that, that you are interested, um, do that, that exporting, and then, um, of course, this part is not yet there, the analysis, we, we use MATLAB for the PCA analysis at the end. Um, this is just a quick, a quick overview of the studies we, we used. We mainly used the, the, the public studies of, of PD um, and also adding for for checking the cross uh, disease um, uh, markers. And they, they, if you see that most of them are actually from, uh, from post-modern brain tissue and uh, two of them are uh, from blood tissues. That's the, the results. And actually we found, do found a, a list of markers that shows up in multiple studies. Especially one shows up in even three studies. And I highlight another one. This is a, a marker that shows up in, in both brain and, and blood tissue. Um, the one that the, the top one marker actually has an evidence from the literature that uh, this gene has some relation with both Alzheimer and PD. So it, it works follow up um, since, since the data is not accessible, so we, we, we didn't have that chance to, to do this. The other one is the, the marker that's shared um, in both brain and uh, blood tissue. Uh, that is quite interesting because you can actually imagine that if you can do a blood test uh, to see if someone get already Parkinson or not, that would be a much easy diagnosis. But when I report this to our group, one of our research said my, the study uh, with the whole blood sample may have quality problems. So, but but this does not prevent uh, the the direction of like thinking finding a, a blood marker for for neurodegenerative disease. And for the stratification, 
uh, we did a PCA analysis, and, and, and you can clearly see that this is a plotting of the first uh, top three um, component. And you can clearly see there are, some people say four, some people will say six um, groups. And just, just using, using purely only a neuropsychological test. So because a, a, a Alzheimer's, is a, always people think this is a, a combination of different diseases, and it's not clear how to separate the different subgroups. And this is just purely behavior test. You can clearly say there's a difference. So this is the point we, around, we want to follow up once the, the data is available again. Yeah, and uh, I think I should switch, switch back to the, the, oh, sorry, that's not my, this is the question, so. Yeah, basically, as I, I just said, we, we found some cross um, markers between different type of uh, cross checkings, and there's a, a great potential to, to follow up the, the patient stratification. And uh, any questions, if you want. Some, some of them, I, I think, Prague, you, you, you still have to look at the brain. I'm, I'm not sure we can do a the biopsy. I think no one would do biopsy on brain. No. Um, you, you need a neuro, neuro imaging for this. I mean, no, normally people don't go to hospitals that I don't know whether I will get Alzheimer's. Can you do a neuro image on me? But as you know, if you can do a commercial, just a blood screening will be. It seems to me that by bringing together these data, you know, all these data sets in the platform, you were leveraging the platform. You know, can you comment on how difficult it would have been to do this without Transmart, or what Transmart specifically enabled you to do? Well, well I really like the Transmart uh, cohort building because first of all, the data are or curated in the, in the same format, and you can easily build a cohort. Because I, I told many times to my colleague that I was working as a bus statistician in hospital, and I was doing this analysis for the directors uh, for more, nearly two years. I can say 80% of the time was preparing the data for analysis. Only 20% I'm spending on analysis, I correct. And Transmart saved my time for this 80% part. Yeah. Awesome. So a fivefold improvement in efficiency. Exactly, yeah. Any other questions?